How's everybody doing today? And by the thumbnail, you guys already know who we are doing for the career sim. We are doing Chris Paddock. Like I said, you guys wanted to see a picture and I'm going to bring it to you guys. So today we're going to be doing the young pitcher, the career sim for Chris Paddock, who looks like he's going to be a stud in the MLB. Just got dropped down to single A, but um, it's about managing his innings. I know a couple of seasons ago, he, came, he uh, had Tommy John as well as... Um, he hasn't thrown more than 90 innings in a season, so they definitely want to make sure that he doesn't get overloaded and uh, hurt himself again. So if you guys want to see more career sims, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know which player you want to see next. So let's get into it. Without any further ado, what we're going to do, CPU is going to handle everything. We're going to hop into this. And again, guys. The roster I'm using, you search username in the roster vault and under username, the name is Raiden Rosters. That's writing without the G rosters. So that's that's the, the one I'm using. So you guys can see here, 83 overall, Chris Paddock, 23 years old, A potential. His stats look decent, pretty solid uh, for an 83 overall player, 23 years old. Like I said, no previous career stats or anything his uh his contract runs till about 2024 um so what is that six years including this year so about that time he'll be what 29 28 ish by the time he hits free agency and maybe get that big contract but a 6-4 starting pitcher he's got some height on him got some size on him so i'm definitely you know excited to see how the first season goes and uh, let's just see how this how this plays out with pitchers. It's kind of hit or miss. They either do really, really well or really, really bad um, to start out with their careers. And then as they start getting better and better and better, they obviously get better in terms of their their wins and losses. So let's see how season one plays out. I'm kind of excited to do a pitcher for once. So let's see how it goes. Season one finishes 71 and 91. No postseason for the Padres. I could see that happening for the Padres in real life this year. Any awards? Tatis for a gold glove, but let's let's take a look at the rotation. We're focusing on Paddock. He's actually gone down in overall, um, even though some stats have gone up. And we'll take a look at his year stats. So seven and fourteen, a four seventy one ERA. Um, I mean, a rough first season, definitely, but um, he he should only get better. You know, when you look at those per nines, the walks, the home runs are still kind of low. So I definitely expect him to get a little bit better over the next couple seasons. And that's when we'll start seeing more wins, better ERA, and uh, a way better whip. 1.5 is atrocious for a starting pitcher. So we'll see how season four, you know, two, three, four, five go. Um, if anything happens from now till then, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you guys at season five. Pretty rough first season, but kind of expected for Chris Paddock. All right, so this is year four. And I just want to show you guys Chris Paddock just in case he does dip at season five. I don't think he will, but just, just to kind of give you a heads up of what you can expect from a 94 overall Chris Paddock. Here are his attributes and they look really good. Also this season, he led the league in ERA. So let me show you what this guy's done. So last year he had a phenomenal year, 20 and five. This year he was 15 and nine, but look at those last two seasons ERA. A 2.64, a 2.34, a 1.12 whip, and a 1.11 whip. These are disgusting numbers. Just unreal numbers. Um, somebody's been asking me to show the war. Here's the war for the last couple seasons. Like, he is looking unreal. This guy's looking like a, a very good pickup for any team that's looking for an ace. Yes, it's going to be very difficult to trade for him. But you guys can see the stats he gets. He looks like a very solid pitcher. So this is season four. We're still going to show season five, just but I wanted to show you guys just in case his stats dipped because I always I, I normally want to show you like their their like maxed out stats before they start to decrease. And so this will kind of give you an idea of what Chris Paddock Chris Paddock can become. So season five, Paddock and the Padres do not make the playoffs. They haven't made the playoffs once during this. But again, he's still sitting at a ninety six. I think it was actually 94 um, last time I showed you. But now he's in 96. You guys can see some of this, the attributes here. And we'll take a quick look at his season. 9 and 10 on the year. But again, a very low whip. Good strikeout numbers. Low walks. Like, his ERA is solid as well. He is just an absolute ace 
for any team that you guys can like that you, any team if you you need an ace go and get chris paddock he turns into an absolute animal so looking at it he hits free agency next season let's see what um you know does he stay with the padres does he leave we'll have to wait and see he is only 27 probably 28 by the time the season starts so i'm kind of interested to see what happens so i'll see you guys um if he leaves the team i'll show you guys but if he stays with the padres we'll just keep going um, and that's five seasons so far. We'll take a look at like his career stats 63 and 48 in terms of wins and losses But like I've mentioned, it's really difficult to go off wins and losses Just because a lot of the times when they're younger, they do lose a lot of games, but so far so good um, That era at a 3.12 is a solid career era and I definitely expect it to go down lower So let's get into it. Let's see how things go that's five seasons so far. Alrighty, Chris Paddock signs with the Blue Jays, a nine-year, $162.8 million deal. So now he's headed to the AL at the age of 29. So he actually had one more season with the Padres before his contract ran out. But um, his last year, a 327 ERA, which is a little bit higher than mo the last couple seasons, but definitely still really solid. So now he's headed to the AL. We'll have to check him out, see how he does throughout those years. But a nine-year deal. All right. Let's see how he does. Alrighty, season 10 is here, and we're looking at Paddock's attributes currently. 97 overall, looks still really solid. A couple stats going down, but nothing too crazy. When we actually look at his statistics, he has, he has 134 wins, 89 losses, almost 2,000 innings pitched. Let's, let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Almost 2,000 strikeouts as well, so, you know, more than a strikeout in inning. Looking at his career ERA, a 3-2-6. And a 1.21 whip. So again, really solid stats. Um, we'll take a quick look at his WAR for his career. What does it say? 37.8. Eh, you know, but a 3.6. Last season he struggled a little bit. Had a 2.8 WAR, but everything else has been like 3.5 and above. Um, besides like his rookie year and last year. So I mean, he's been a really solid pitcher overall. Um, I think this is the first year he's also eclipsed 200 innings. So at the age of 32, he's looking really solid still, 97 overall. Uh, I think he's made the playoffs twice, including this year with the Blue Jays. Um, the first time, it, nothing really happened. So we'll take a quick, you know, just a quick little sim into the postseason, see what happens, um, see if, you know, maybe the, the Blue Jays win anything. And actually, they won the World Series. Oh, no, it, yeah, it said they won the World Series. Um, so let's go take a look. Yeah, they won the World Series. So Chris Paddock won a World Series. Bo Bichette was the World Series MVP, and the postseason MVP was Ahmed Rosario. So let's let's take a look and see how Paddock did in the postseason. A two and one record with a 1.61 ERA, a 1.1 WHIP. Okay, really solid outing from Paddock during the postseason. So there you go, World Series number one in the 10th year of his career so i mean he, he he actually got a ring which is a good thing a lot of players that we do normally don't win world series so there's his first like award i should say you know or like you know accolade he won a world series um but yeah there's season 10 in the books let's just keep let's keep simulating through time see what happens season 11 back-to-back -back world series for the blue jays which means another world series title for uh chris paddock so let's take a look see how he did during the postseason uh, a low era a very low whip the wins and losses weren't there but still a very good outing he's still holding on to that 96 rating it says he's going down a little bit um he's got what four years left on his deal he had a solid season as well so i mean he's still putting up really good numbers uh for a starting pitcher so two world series for chris paddock so far in his career just wanted to give a quick little update, show you guys that he did win it. So let's keep going. All right, you guys can see at the top of the offseason transactions here on the left screen, Joe Adele was traded to the Blue Jays for Chris Paddock and Daryl McMullen. Um, so yeah, that happened. In the last time they won the World Series, I didn't check the postseason reward or awards. For MVP and post like the uh, World Series MVP and postseason MVP, Chris Paddock did not win those. Um, but as you guys can see, Chris Paddock is back in the NL. I think for the last like two years of his deal with the Mets. So we'll we'll keep an eye on that. Just filling you guys in on you know where he's going throughout his career. We'll do a quick little check just to see um, what 
what he's looking like. So where is he? 89 overall. So he's dipped a little bit. And yeah, he does have what? Two, three years left. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Alrighty, in 2035, Chris Paddock retires. He's been out of the league for about two seasons. And you can see at the age of 40, he's dropped off pretty drastically. He's down to a 58 overall. Um, it's been two years since he's pitched a game. Um, played with the Mets for two seasons. Didn't really get too much action. Um, didn't start a game in 2033. Started nine in 2032. But let's just take a look at his, his career stats. 180 wins. 130 losses a career era of 339 obviously these last two seasons probably didn't help with that um his whip is a 1.22 uh, again like you look at these last two seasons they're pretty high so that probably you know kind of ruined it a little bit but overall a very solid career you know that that era is probably actually more of a you know, maybe like a, a 3 2, maybe a 3 1 9 or something like that. His whip's most definitely under a, a 1.2 if you don't like think about these last two seasons that he pitched. Looking at his war, you know, like these last three seasons really hurt him. Uh, you know, before that, it was like 3 5 and better. So he really was a solid pitcher, a really big, like just a good ace for every single team that he played for. Um, you know, like nine plus strikeouts per nine two walks per nine you know maybe three allowing just about one home run per nine too so the stats are crazy good i don't think they're hall of fame numbers though which is unfortunate but throughout his career he led the league in era once had two world series so not not a bad career um we'll see ah uh, it doesn't look like a hall of fame induction and that's that's unfortunate but that's gonna wrap it up guys that is the chris paddock sim i don't expect too many pitchers to make it in the world series if we do do career sims for pitchers but it's definitely a possibility if we um get like a really good pitcher so we'll have to wait and see but chris paddock i mean the the, the stats were really solid you guys saw he capped out at like a 98 and those stats were really nice those attributes for sure so i hope you guys enjoyed this video I told you guys I'd bring a picture simulation and here it is. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. And in the comment section, let me know which player to do next. Um, and that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.